Baruch Hashem, it is day number 179 of our daily study of Rambam Sever Mitzvahs in the three chapters a day of Mishnah Torah study track. We are not only finishing Hilchas Mi'ilah, the laws of misappropriation, but we are finishing an entire Sefer, an entire book. Remember, Mishnah Torah is composed of 14 books or 14 volumes. That's why it is often referred to as the Yad Hachazaka, the strong hand, Yad is spelled, Yad means hand, it's spelled Yud Dalad. Yud is 10, Dalad is 4, 10 plus 4, 14. There are 14 volumes, that's the Yad, okay? Uh, so we're finishing the Sefer Avaida, which has been all about the procedures in the Beis HaMikdash, in the Holy Temple. And we are beginning a related topic Sefer Karbonis, the laws of offerings, specific offerings. So, Mazel Tov on the Siyam, and let's do our mitzvahs for today. Um, our mitzvah that corresponds to Hilchas Mila is actually a repeat. Uh, we had it yesterday, we're going to do it again today. You guys know how it goes when we're doing Sefer Mitzvahs the way that we do it, where it's corresponding to the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah. So, Sometimes we repeat mitzvahs. Okay, negative commandment 114 is the prohibition against shearing an animal that's been designated for sacrifice, right? The animal is holy. It's not for personal use, so don't shear it. All right, mazel tov, see him. You've just finished. Amazing. Okay, now we are starting Hilchas Korban Pesach, the laws of the Pesach offering, the Passover offering, uh, the first two chapters, chapters one and two, today, in the three chapters of Mishnah Torah. Corresponding to that, we have uh, a few mitzvahs, three mitzvahs, actually, corresponding to that today. Positive commandment 55 is the Korban Pesach, the mitzvah that uh, you bring that sacrifice on the 14th day of Nisan. It's a specific date. That's Erev Pesach, the day before Pesach. Pesach is the 15th of Nisan. The Korban Pesach, the sacrifice is done on the 14th. Uh, and in fact, notably, the Rama mentions that we bring the Korban Pesach on the 14th of Nisan, its proper date, even when that day falls on Shabbos. And there's a lot to be said about why that's not such a simple thing. You're going to say, well, of course, well, we, we, all the Korbonis we do, uh, the public, uh, what do you call it, communal offerings we do on Shabbos, right? With the Talmud and the Musaf. Yeah, but, okay, I'm not going to get into this at length. The Korban Pesach is funny because it is a communal offering in that everybody has to do it, but it's also like a private offering. Remember, we were saying like uh, a toida or a chattas you don't do on Shabbos. The individual offering you don't do in Shabbos. So the Korban Pesach is like a communal offering in that everybody has to do it, but it's like an individual offering in that everybody has to do it. So there's a whole discussion. Actually, that's how Hillel rose to prominence and became famous, is he remembered what he had learned from Shmaya of Avtalion, and he was able to instruct the people to bring the Korban Pesach on its proper date, even when it falls on Shabbos. Okay, so that's positive commandment 55. Negative commandment 115 is the prohibition against sacrificing the Pesach offering while one still possesses chametz. It's an interesting thing. There's a mitzvah to get rid of chametz for Pesach, but then there's a specific mitzvah that it's not just that bringing the Korban Pesach and getting rid of chametz are both things that are connected to Pesach. There's actually a specific mitzvah, negative commandment 115, against bringing the Korban Pesach as a sacrifice while you still have chametz, meaning leavened bread, in your possession. Okay. Negative commandment 116, leaving the fats of the Pesach offering overnight, leaving it until morning. Uh, we're not allowed to do that. They have to be burnt on these fats have to be burnt on the altar. Um, they cannot be left till morning. Okay? All right, so those are our mitzvahs today. We're going to continue with more uh, of Hilchas Korban Pesach, laws of the Pesach offering, God willing, tomorrow.